as a black woman director, underrepresented women, okay, so not just black women, underrepresented women. Mm -hmm. Think of every kind of underrepresented there could be. Less than 1% of working directors. I think you better hush. And where's daddy? He's never home. He's supposed to be home sometimes. Listen, you little ingrate. I went to film school because I thought I wanted to make documentaries and while I was in film school I made kind of a docudrama and that little film went to festivals and then Bill Cosby hired me as a writer and I wrote a screenplay with two women playwrights. It was a lot of fun and that was in the 80s, you know, in the late 80s, 88, something like that. So at the same time that I was writing and went to film school I was also working off Broadway doing you know show, a show off Broadway and got Silence of the Lambs and the whole thing happened at once and then I wrote a script we started shopping it looking for a director and uh, that kind of didn't go well you know people passed on it the story was very personal to me and, and I decided that you know I should direct it just when I finally get somebody interested in financing Eve's Bayou I'm pregnant and um, I went and took my green light meeting I was nine months pregnant and I'm like oh you know, as if, like, I might as well be barefoot. I'm a pregnant black woman, you know? <laughs> and I was sitting at this board table full of men and one woman at the table, and they were like, well, how are you gonna do it? I said, well, I'm gonna have the baby and then I'm gonna direct the movie. And they were like, you know, okay. I can remember when I did Eve's Bayou, the hairdresser saying, never let him see you cry. You know, like giving me a lecture kind of on how to, be, you know, mansplaining, like, you know, <laughs> um, directing and how to kind of, be tough and I was not in my head thinking, okay. I think that when people are looking for directors, they often look for people that remind them of themselves. So many of the gatekeepers, they're not looking for us as women. Like people think director, they think white man. And I think that takes a long time to change, you know? With women, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. We're half of all people. It's been really interesting where they've looked at, you know, the critical acclaim of a movie, it's, it's uh, the same you know, for, for men and women. There's no reason why we should be at 10.8% in a good year and we're all supposed to be like dancing and celebrating, right. you know, 10.8% when we're 51% of people. I think we should be deeply ashamed of that. I'm gonna be free or die. Cynthia, you know, she slayed it. I knew it the first moment I saw her in costume. Very first take, I was like, that's her. And I, I believed her and I believed her every day. I want my mama name and my husband. Harriet Tubman. We've definitely gotten to the point where on-screen representation is a lot better. You know, it's behind the camera that I think we need so much more work. Um, however, it's not for the faint at heart, you know what I mean? It's, it's a very hard thing to do, but if you, you must do it, if you're driven to do it, if it keeps you up at night, then by all means do it and don't let anyone stop you. Don't take no for an answer and don't let anyone stop you. Stay in it.